Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're covering our top five picks for the best features in PowerPoint in 2024. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, remote desktop licenses, Windows Server, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. So for demonstration here, we're actually going to be using the PowerPoint that I've created for a video we released earlier this month. So this PowerPoint is going over the new features to Windows Server 2025. All right, so the first feature that we're going to talk about is the quick access toolbar. So we can right click on any of the features in PowerPoint and we can actually add those to our quick access toolbar. So I'll add a few that I know I use a lot, new slide being one of them. So we'll go ahead and add that. Inserting pictures is a big one for me. I'm going to add this to the quick access toolbar as well. I'll do the text box. And then lastly, I'll do the video. So the quick access toolbar is here at the very, very top left of the application. So there we have our new slide. I can click that. And we also have images, text box, or the video itself. So I can access all of this a little bit faster now that I have it readily available in my quick access menu. All right, next up, we're going to talk about the selection pane. So on the home tab here, I'm going to look for the arrange button. It's towards the middle here. I'll click on that and I'll click selection pane. Now with this up, I'm going to quickly insert an image to further demonstrate this point. So I'll click this device and I'm just going to grab a relevant picture. All right. So back in the selection pane here, I can do a few things. And this is kind of like Photoshop layers if you're familiar with the Adobe suite. So I've entered in a screenshot from a car shoot that I did. And if I want to remove it, I can simply click this little eye here so I can see what's beneath it, see how things are laid out. I can rearrange and I can rename. So I might call this Ferrari and maybe I'll make this main title and maybe I'll title this one body text or something like that. So this is a pretty handy way that you can actually work your way around PowerPoint. I can also select the title or the body or the image from the selection pane itself. All right, next up is the remove background feature. So let's remove the background from this image that I inserted in the last step. I'll click picture format. And the very first option here up on the left is to remove the background. Let's see how well it works. All right, so it didn't quite get everything that I wanna get out. And it might be a little tricky with this image given these similar color palettes, but let me try to mark some areas to remove and see what happens. All right, I'm getting pretty close. So I'll just keep kind of fine tuning this until it is fully removed. If you mess up, you can do control Z to undo the action. All right, that looks pretty good. We can see we actually removed a little too much here. So I'll try to add these little areas back in. All right, and while it's clearly not perfect with this image in particular, you can have a lot of success with this tool on images that are a little more simple. So it's a pretty powerful feature. You don't have to bounce back and forth between here and Photoshop. Assuming you have a somewhat simple image, you can remove the background all within PowerPoint. Okay, next up, we're gonna go to transitions. And our feature here is the morph transition. This is pretty cool because it helps create this sort of dynamic, seamless transition between two slides. All right. And so I'll click the slide that I want it to be applied to, and it'll sort of start the transition from the last slide. So I'll start here. I'll click on morph. And as we can see, it does like a little fade in and fade out. So it's a bit more of a seamless transition than simply just jumping to the next slide. All right. And the last feature we're going to talk about is zoom. So on the insert tab, I have a slide selected here. All right, so with that selected, I'll click on zoom and let's try to do a summary zoom and we'll go ahead and insert that. And then again, this is summarizing the section here. Now I know the pictures aren't the most relevant here, but again, we're going for demonstration purposes. So I might call this section storage. And so let me show you guys how this works in the actual presentation. So I'll go to the slideshow here and I'll play from beginning. And as we can see, we have the section here at the top. And if I actually hit the right arrow, It'll zoom us into our slide, which we can then use to go through left and right, just like normal. And when we get to the end, we'll go back to our section. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any of those features, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific viewer topic ideas that you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.